Hi, I'm Alex McCord, reporting exclusively for RumorFix.com from my Brooklyn backyard on Season 5 of The Real Housewives of New York City. So what did we see? What producer tricks, cast member collusions, what happened this week? First of all, at Sonya's party, we see a CYA move, classic, on the part of the new girls. They all brought a bottle of wine to Sonya's party. Why did they do this? Because they did not want to be accused later on of not bringing a gift and of being selfish, or something like that. Number two, we saw bringing the headlines into reality. Um, some cast members more than others always want to police their cast members. If there's something going on in their real life that might make the tabloids, they don't want them sweeping it under the rug and not filming about it. Producers get mad, other cast members get mad, they think they are trying to hide something. So, when it was brought up that Luann had a ring from Jock, Mario jumped right on it and said, Oh, did you get engaged? Why did he say that? Because last year it was leaked to the tabloids that the finale of season four was going to be all about Luann's engagement, but it wasn't. So I think he wanted to try and keep her honest. Whether she was being honest or not, I don't know. Moving right along, we saw some promotional activity. It's always hard when you want to pr promote a project, whether you're going to get skewered or not. It might be great for your business. It might make you look like a fool. Ramona wanted to promote her learning annex seminars. Good for her. I don't blame her for doing that one minute, but she set herself up for heartbreak when Heather made fun of her behind her back. Again, in the talking head, you always have the opportunity to skewer someone behind their back. You never know what's going to happen until you actually see the show, what people are saying about you. When Carol met with Cindy, the editor of Glamour, she mentioned that back in the day, she never thought she'd be interviewing the Kardashians. I had to snicker because I bet back in the day she probably never thought she'd be on a reality show either. But it's the 21st century, and that's what so many of us do, including yours truly. So why not? Embrace it move forward. We went to the Hamptons, as we always do, and I saw a couple of standard issue tricks here. Number one was don't let the new girl talk. At the restaurant with Heather and Ramona and Sonia, Heather clearly wanted to speak about one thing, and Ramona and Sonia wanted to shut her down. They wanted to move the conversation along, and so they just used their experience to talk over her, drive the conversation. Heather didn't have a chance. I did feel badly for Heather. I think she probably got the worst edit of the new girls in episode one because it seemed like every piece of footage that the, that the producers used was of her speaking about illness and disease. I'm sure she doesn't do that 24-7. Unfortunately, that's the footage that the producers chose to use, and it made her look like she had a one-track mind. I have to say, I, I can't imagine what it would have been like to lose a parent right before filming a reality show that can be like swimming with sharks. But unfortunately, life happens, and you can't control when you shoot a reality show. Next up at Ramona's dinner party, we saw Don't Let the New Girl Into the Circle. Clearly, Aviva wanted to break in and speak with Ramona and Heather, and they weren't having it. Uh, pretend she's not there, she's behind our back, don't let her in. Um, I had to laugh, gotta love Ramona and her bullet points. She's got a history of moving a scene along and punching it forward, getting the talking points in and getting the crew out the door. I can't blame her. It's really hard in real life to throw a real life party with your real friends and also have the crew filming it. It really drags the evening down. When she said, time to eat, I understood she was trying to move things along. Yes, the new girls felt rushed. They will get used to it. This is what filming a reality show is like. Another hit and run was Luann's uh, luncheon at Orsay. Clearly, she wanted to bring into the storyline that she was upset with Ramona from last season. She wanted to make sure that she got across that Ramona was blackmailing her, whether that's true or not. She showed up to Orsay, spat out her points, and ran away, leaving the other girls with whiplash. Uh, we saw a little bit of cast collusion this episode. Whether it was producer-driven or cast-driven, I couldn't tell you. But Ramona and Sonia clearly decided amongst themselves, poor little bird whispered in their ear, don't go to Victoria's art party. You never know who's stirring the pot there, but it always drives the storyline along because whoever it is who got ditched, in this case Luann, will be upset about it. So Luann had something to complain about. Oh, Ramona and Sonia didn't come to the art party, and Ramona and Sonia got out of filming. I thought it was interesting that the producers zoomed in on the KUSH in one of Victoria's paintings. I'm not sure Lu Luann knew what that meant. Um, that's a situation where I sort of feel like the producers could have left, left that one alone. 
Um, overall, I think that Aviva probably got the best edit in the first episode. Her pedicure with her prosthetic leg was very funny and a great way to deal with the situation. I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you'll comment on rumorfix.com and let me know what you thought, and I'll be back here next Tuesday with a new video blog. For now, I'm Alex McCord saying have a great week.